So, what we have here is the leading coefficient test. What exactly is it? And I'm going to kind of give you a brief description. I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at. So let's say we have two functions. f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 5. And then we have another function, f of x equals uh, 2x cubed plus x squared minus 1. All right. What the leading coefficient tells us is it helps us determine the end behavior of our polynomial. And the way that it does that is by looking at our leading coefficient and also looking at the degree. All right. So first of all, when trying to determine the leading coefficient test, it's helpful to first write out what the degree is and write out what the leading coefficient is for each, uh, for each polynomial. So here, the leading coefficient, LC, is equal to negative 3. Here, the LC is equal to 2. Here, my degree is equal to 2. And here, my degree is equal to 3. So here's what the leading coefficient tells us. All right, If a sub n, or let's just look at a function. Let's just look at f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Let's just look at a standard quadratic. If a is our coefficient of our leading term, all right, doesn't matter if it's a quadratic, it's a cubic, as long as a is our coefficient of our leading term, if a is less than 0, uh, actually, let's, before I go to that, let's talk about the degrees. Here's my degree is even. So when I have an even degree, that means the degree of my polynomial, the highest, po the highest uh, exponent degree, is even. Then, let's say when a is less than 0, I'm going to kind of give you guys a shorthand, and then I'll kind of give you a little bit more mathematical one. When a is less than 0 and your degree is even, you're going to have your graph is going to fall left and then fall Right. Okay. So that means the graph is going to be going downward like that. If a is greater than zero, it your graph is going to rise right and rise. Can't even write left. So what would be an example of a uh, a even polynomial? I don't know what this one looks like. Well, I do. I'm not going to graph. But what's the main, main important thing you guys should understand is the leading coefficient test, when we say it falls left and falls right, that means the end behavior of the graph is going to continue down. And rise right and rise left is going to look something like that, our upper parabola. And the cool thing about the leading coefficient test, ladies and gentlemen, is it doesn't matter if it's a quadratic. Yeah, we know what quadratics we've dealt with, what those look like. But this could be a 4. It could be an 8. It could be 128. It's going to get crazy in between, but the end behavior is going to either fall left and fall right or rise left and rise right. Let's go and take a look if the degree is odd. So if the degree is odd, all right, and a is less than 0, then what we're going to have, actually, let's, all right, if a is less than 0, then we're going to have a graph that's going to rise left and fall right. And if we have a graph that's a is greater than 0, we're going to fall left and rise right. All right. So whew, that's a lot, right? Uh, so what are some ways to kind of remember this, right? I mean, I know this stuff, you're like, all right, I got four things to remember. The best thing I like to remember for this is our two parent functions, f of x equals x squared and f of x equals x cubed. All right. The reason why I like using these two is because they're easy. There should be ones that you've dealt with with other math classes that you remember. And if you can remember that x squared looks like this. And x cubed looks like that, right? So if you can always remember, oh, when my coefficient is positive and my degree is even, no matter what it's going to look, it's always going to rise left and rise right. And the negative, if my coefficient is negative, it's just going to be the opposite. However, for any odd, when my coefficient is positive, I'm always going to fall left, rise right. 
And if it was negative, it's going to be the reverse. It's going to rise left, fall right. So that's kind of the important thing. I'm gonna, I don't really want to go through, actually, uh, the other mathematical way with it. I'm just going to keep this video kind of simple for you. Um, but there is other ways to write, kind of talking about the limits and as x um, approaches you know, f of x and where that kind of goes to. But I'm just going to kind of keep it simple for a leading coefficient test. Uh, when I go through some other uh, videos, you'll get, a, you'll get a taste of uh, some other ways to write it. So I hope this helped you out. Uh, thanks again. Comment below if you have questions. Bye.